welcome back to the spider's web and as you can see in front of you is our skeleton regiment or skeleton horde the kings of war all on the base i've patched up the um or filled in on the gaps between the bases for the model so they just need now going over with the paint again um i also need to um go around here with a little well first of all I need to go around with a little bit of water down PVA to seal everything in and then I can paint it uh, that I'm going to be doing off camera but I just thought that you'd like to see how it's looking now um, I think it was quite impressive but that may just be me now something else I want to show you some of the new models I've got I got these for Christmas from my of my sister um, these are my skeleton archers so yes more skelly bulbs <laughs> they are half plastic half metal as you can tell these were an absolute nightmare to put together because um, I couldn't work out how they went together but I've managed to work it out and just cobbled it to be, you know, as a, a budget and scarper kind of scenario. Um, a few a few times I've had to snip in the back of the um, <coughs> the skeletons um, to make them fit. I think this is one of them, as you can see. Maybe able to see in the. It's not exactly as it should be, but. When it gets down to it, um, we can disguise on that with the paint and, uh, and the rust effects and whatever, so uh, we can sort it. It's not going to be a big deal. But the project for today is the other miniatures I've got from, I've got off my sister um, again for Christmas. Um, again for Kings of War, we are looking at a trio of whites. These are one piece metal mini. Um, I've already glued it to the base and I've um, primed it grey. Like I started doing with all my recent minis. Um, as you can see there was a lot a lot of lovely lovely detail in these um, and there we are so what do we have what do I have in mind for these well Get down, get the paints sorted, and let's get cracking. So first of all, I'm just going to move my Scanly Bob Army, no Scanly Bob Hard, over there. I'm going to come back to them later. And what I want to do first is using a nice little colour called Balthazar Gold. Now just in case you're wondering, no I'm not going all lurking scaly. Um, I got super glue on my hand trying to put these blooming things together. Pain in the neck, pain in the neck. I have another 10 coming. I bought myself another 10 so it's just uh, I'll have uh, all together with the 10 I've ordered I'll have 20. I just need another 50 to get one of each regiment. And uh, I've started using my wet palette, um, so I'm not going to be able to show you how I mix the colours together because it's going to be a bit fiddly doing that. So I'm just going to show you what colours I'm using. 
um, in the hope that you will not just copy me for the mixing side of it, you will actually go, go ahead and do it your own way. So, using my new large brush, we will take our Balthazar Gold and we will go over all the armour. With this, um, everywhere that's metal will have a covering of Balthazar Gold because these are not um, your normal in fact no it's not all of this that's metal if there's any I feel like um, what you call it um, chain mail like there's under there I'm going to do that with um, the Warlock Bronze or tin bits as was this is because this is going to be a brighter goldy coloured armour um, and as such wouldn't get rusty so we'd not be putting the rust on this armour as far as I would recall gold doesn't rust If I'm wrong, please let me know. I'm not a metallurgist or an expert in precious metals, um, but I wouldn't have thought that metal, that gold, um, that gold would rust. Or I can get turnished to a little bit. Uh, of a funny colour but that doesn't count as rusting I don't think not for the the rust effect that I'll be using and really I should have done the skull part first but here well never mind now we're going to do this on all the three um, chaps and this is the full regiment you don't get more than three in a squad regiment whatever you want to call it um, so this is one regiment of them I may get others depending on how I enjoy painting these up and looking at them you know they, they seem to be a nice model for painting but we will see we will see um, I'm just going over this in the gold in this Balthazar gold um, there may be areas on the whites that I'm going to change but at the moment it's just for a base coat for the metal areas um, the, hand, the, the head of the axe isn't going to be gold it's going to be um, a silvery colour but as I say it might be interesting to have this underneath it instead of the warplock bronze that I usually do
along with. Uh, and that is it for gold as far as I can see. Okay, so I'm going to go back now to our screaming skull. In fact, I'm just going to do that part there, which I think may well be. And there we go. Okay, so I'm now going back to our screaming skull. But first of all, I'm going to have to. Um, and get a little bit of paper towel. Give me a second. Okay, I'm back and I've had a look and it does look as though all the um, all the gloves are metal. Metal gauntlets. So I'm just going to quickly go over all these. I'll not be using the same colours on each one. Um, there will be a difference. I thought these gloves would be like a leather or some such, but no. Um, so we'll be using different colours to pick them out. What I haven't looked at is the handle of the um, of the axe and the battle hammer um, but oops missed a bit there a little curless of me as usual <laughs> there we are as I say some of the metal parts are going to be um, silver coloured some are going to be gold um, we're not looking towards doing everything the same because that will just make it look too much. Um, I may be changing some of these areas into the tin bits as was, um, simply be, simply to change the the look of it. Um, but here with it, here we go. That's everything. Now most of the metal stuff done. Now it's, as I said, we're going to be using um, the bleach ball, screaming skull, whatever it may be called nowadays, to do the, well basically to do the skulls because that's all there is for these. There's no other areas of bone in these models. So Okay, just a little bit of bleach bone and it's just the small areas of oops the small areas of skull that you find inside the helmets. I have been in discussions today with one of the guys at the games club and um, we didn't have one last night with the Bean Boxing Day but we've had an all day session today I went um, for a few hours earlier on um, Kings of War we will be having a game for a games night video um, looking towards February before we get a chance to do that because he's busy um, painting up his dwarves and he doesn't want to play with some um, unpainted which I wholeheartedly agree with to be brutally honest with you um, if you're gonna have a, a game like that you've got to paint the minis um, in much the same ways I wouldn't dream of fielding an unpainted army um, he's not good he doesn't want to do either so that's where we stand with those okay so there's the most of the metal areas <coughs> and the bone areas the bone areas was done with as I say screaming skull that's the one we've just used 
Um, now we're going to be going over to warp lock bronze. I want to change some of the metal areas that we've painted and also do the base coat for the um, what should we do really call it the um, small areas of um, oh chain mill okay so look for the chain mill areas and over those areas with this warp pot bronze. We'll do this first um, and then we can go over we can pick and choose what areas then to go over um, I just don't want to miss any of these areas of chain mill And for this as well, we're also going to be going over the the blade of the sword because you wouldn't have a soft metal like gold for a sword. So we'll go over and make it a little bit darker. Using that, and I think I might just want to go over this part here as well and make this a silver colour. As you see, it's going on pretty thinly. Um, it's a very watery mix. It's going on like a wash because I don't want it going on too thick and heavy. Um, how's that there? That's done. Um, I may do the middle areas of the elbow pieces. So, and that will do for him. For this fella, I think we may just go with the chain mail areas. We can still use silver, a silver colour on top of the um, with the Balthazar gold it just makes it a different look so I think that may be what we'll go for with this guy Just bear in mind <coughs> and these aren't all going to be wearing the same Oops. in fact I'm going to go over the head of this axe as well because just like the sword you wouldn't find anything um, that's going to be cutting a weapon for cutting to be um, a soft metal it's going to be a hard metal um, so we would use um, a silver colour for that as well and next do we have any chain mill on this fella no we don't but we do have an interesting looking thing here. So we'll go over that again, the very watery warplot bronze. We'll go over there as well with the warplot bronze and Here. Um, also, the uh, 
and um, I've been saying about the the cutting parts with it being stronger or with it being made for cutting you don't want a soft metal well yes the M is gold coloured but chances are with these being kings the armor will be more decorative rather than useful I would have thought but then again it depends I suppose on what kind of king they are okay what do I want next um, I want something a little different for the crest I don't, I've used red in the past for other things I want something different um, so instead of red I'm going to go with a blue colour and for this I'm going to use the fang. We'll start off with that. Now I can't seem to hear anything moving about in there. It may be a little bit thick. So I'm going to get my shringe out and add a few drops. One, two, three, four, five drops of water. give it a shake and it seems to be a little better now I can hear it rattling and we'll add some of the fang to our palette and we will be making the crest brighter Time goes on. In fact, I could do different colours for each one rather than doing them on the same, but just to make them a little more uniform. I am going to use the blue each of the the crests or the helmet crests or whatever you want to call them there we go should be a little bit of metal down there where I've just gone over with the blue so I'll go back over that a little later Tumpty 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 two. How are we doing for battery? We're not doing too bad. About halfway through. It's not the camera's not been charged for a few days, so <laughs> I'm glad we're getting so much power out of it. And finally, this chappy again with the blue. I say it's just to make them a little bit more uniform, rather than making it look as though they're all different. Um, that's the only reason we're doing this because let's face it they would all be different but yeah there we go and there's our It's done to a point. <clears throat> I did say we needed to add a little bit more of the metal colour to this because I'd forgot to do the back of the helmet there. There we go. That's that done. And now what we'll do is we'll go over on the gold areas and the bone with our old friend 
Agrax Earthshade. You know this well enough, you see me use this quite often. Um, and this is always we're going to be using. Of all the metal. We'll come to this later on, make it much darker. <coughs> um, oh we'll make it much lighter. I've lost myself completely then. Um, yeah, so this is going to make the metal look darker, and then we'll come along and highlight it to make it look lighter, or part of it to look lighter and stand out. So. Um, as we said we, we need the dark to highlight or to, to bring out the light in much the same way as we need nightmares in order to appreciate dreams and bad things happening in our lives to appreciate the good we need In painting these models we need the shadow to appreciate the highlights. That was, for me, quite deep and philosophical. <laughs> oh dear. No, I haven't been drinking. Well, I have, but not. <laughs> not only coffee. <laughs> coffee and I had a glass of Dr Pepper earlier. I have sworn that alcohol will never again touch my lips. So I use a straw. <laughs> now, I did mention earlier that uh, I've had words about the Kings of War uh, gameplay video. I've also been having words about a um, gameplay of um, Lords of Waterdeep and a gameplay of a game called Trains which I've never played but a couple of people I, th I know um, Anita's got it and another Steve um, who is the one I will be uh, playing Kings of War with um, he's got it as well so we may get a game of that in as well hopefully um, so we've got a few in the pipeline I also want to have a game of um, Relic you know Talisman in the 40k universe that may be a long games night video but not maybe one of those that goes into like two or three videos depending well it really only takes about two hours so it's probably going to be split into two videos to be brutally honest um, but I want to get one of those done so fingers crossed we can uh, make this happen fairly soon um, because due to ill health, prayer commitments and various other things not been able to get as much done this year as I was hoping to um, unfortunately didn't get to do the um, Dungeons and Dragons thing because um, of uh, availability of a few people um, it wasn't tying in together unfortunately but it would be nice if we could get one done but I think for that we need to see people's faces and it's another one of those situations where not everybody's comfortable with appearing on video but oh well, we'll see what we can do we'll see what we can do okay so that's oops, that's the wash of the Agrax Earthshade we now need another wash and this wash is going to be going on the crests on the helmet 
and this wash is going to be the dark blue colour uh, when I can find it Brackenhoff Nightshade I'm hoping you can see this uh, Brackenhoff Nightshade, let's see there we are try and keep on the light off it so you don't get any glare this is the one we're going to be using for the crest on the helmets as I say um, it just makes the blue bluer and does what a shade is supposed to do add the shade we've gone through why we do it so I don't need to belabor this point anymore so hopefully 2015 is going to be another big year for well hopefully going to be a better year I can't get much of a worse year for gameplay games like videos and gameplay videos I do really want to get back into doing gameplay videos because I miss doing those um, but everything seems to be painting 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 because I've got a lot of things to paint um, I still haven't finished my um, dungeon command ones yet I still have my um, is it blood of uh, blood of grumps uh, whatever it is the orky one to do but at the moment that is all we're going to be doing with these chaps um, so I'm going to leave it there and I will say as always after I wash my brush <laughs> until next time take care, God bless and bye for now.